We are the Y'all Show, talk with a southern accent, and here on the show and the region that we all love, y'all, tradition is a big, big honking deal. And guess what? In Tyler, Texas, tradition is a big deal there. And if you don't believe me, just look up Texas Rose Festival. This year, it will be the 87th Texas Rose Festival in Tyler, Texas. And we have a very special guest joining us right now. Liz Ballard is with the Texas Rose Festival, and she's going to come on and talk about, believe it or not, a festival that has not been canceled. In fact, Liz, I don't even think this thing has been postponed because you always have the Texas Rose Festival in October. Welcome into the Y'all Show and our virtual tour of Tyler, Texas. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to it, and we're staying the course at this time. So glad to be on your show. So how does it feel to have a festival that you haven't had to completely, at, at least as of now in early June, completely rework the schedule and everything else, like so many festivals got, that got canceled earlier this year? Right, right. We've had some contingency plans. We've um, had a lot of prayers. We've been having board meetings by Zoom and just been very mindful of our communities and participants' safety. And um, knock on wood, we've we the doors have opened and we're it looks like we're going to be able to stay stay the course. Yep. Even though you've been up against a brick wall, you're going to come through yeah. this just fine, Liz. <laughs> I am up against the brick wall, literally and <laughs> figuratively. Well, we're we're glad. Now tell us a little bit about again, this is a festival started in 1933. Not too many festivals have the kind of duration that you have there in what's called the National Rose Capital is Tyler, Texas. A natural beauty is Tyler, Texas. That is correct. Our festival began in 1933 as um, some civic leaders had made their journey to Chicago to the World's Fair and realized that the amazing display of roses was shipped into Chicago from Tyler, Texas. So they made it back to town they collaborated with another group, a garden club, and within six weeks, they planned um, our first Rose Festival with a $1,800 budget, and the Rose industry has been very fruitful for our city, and we're proud that we can still carry on this tradition. And how big of a deal is it currently, the Rose industry in Tyler? If I go down to my local Walmart, am I going to find roses there, or do I need to go to a select well, florist, or what? Actually, the way the roses, the... Um, heavy hand for the industry right now is in the processing. Um, if you go into a Lowe's or a Home Depot and you find your uh, rose bushes and you pick up that bag and you look at it, more than likely it's going to say that it's been processed in um, in the Tyler, Texas area. We also have David Austin roses and that this is their world headquarters. And actually they were founded in England, but Tyler, Texas is their home. How about that? Did not know that. And you've yeah. got you got great soil and a great layout there for roses. In fact, if you go to Tyler, you'll find the Tyler Rose Museum, which I believe your organization is very involved with that. Yes, yes. Our museum houses the history of the Texas Rose Festival and the rose growers industry. And we have our queen gowns that are on display. I probably have about 80 Eighty percent of the gowns that date back to the original time, and we do a rotation three times a year, and we put the different costumes of the participants on display, and we have some interactive things. We have a couple of films for uh, the history, and it's just a beautiful, sweet spot. It's about 7,500 square feet, and it is adjacent in the city um, center attached to the Rose Garden. And I have to ask you, Liz, when I come back to Tyler, Texas, and I take a look around town there at the museum or throughout the town, am I going to find roses everywhere? Your town should have more roses than any place. Am I going to find we, that? Well, we do have a lot of roses, okay. and especially in the blooming season of April and October, okay. it's it's roses are pretty, uh, pretty abundant in our um city um, medians kind of all around it is um, even on our bridges our overpasses you'll see the emblems so mm -hmm. um, a lot of a lot of roses 
blooming and figuratively everywhere. And beautiful roses of all types, again, in Tyler, Texas, as we're focusing on right now, the Texas Rose Festival. That's set for October 15th through 18th in Tyler, Texas. This will be the 87th annual Texas Rose Festival. Only World War II got in the way, so we're not going to let some kind of pandemic get in the way of this year's Texas Rose Festival. By the way, your defending beauty queen from the Texas Rose Festival is Anna Grace Hallmark. What a Hallmark moment when she got to be the Texas Rose Queen. Yes, she is our queen for 2020. And um, I do have to say it's not a pageant. Oh. It's a, um, that's okay. Whoa, <laughs> but sorry. But she is a beauty. I do, I do have to say she is a, she is a doll. And um, her family has been very philanthropic, very um, giving to our city. Um, and she has been chosen by the president of our association to lead this venture for the 2020 year. All right. If you're not a beauty contest, then what are you? Let me make sure. We, we are a um, we are a civic. Um, it is a volunteer organization, okay. and we pride ourselves in volunteerism and community pride. And it is actually as the as the president of our association chooses the queen, they are chosen by their um, community works and um, involvement throughout the city. Very well said. Okay, now we have that out of the way, and kudos to everybody participating in the event each year. It's a big part of the event. In fact, right now I'm going to roll some footage courtesy of your website, and that is TexasRoseFestival.com. You'll see a lot of the roses available to end the Rose Festival, but also we'll have some footage of the beauty, or not beauty contest, the event there that you were just talking about, of which, again, Anna Grace Hallmark is the queen right now of the Texas Rose Festival set for October. And you've got a lot of stuff that goes on. This Texas Rose Festival, I looked at the agenda, and my goodness, it's three days chock full of meetings, of the event there where the queen is out there and then you've got self-guided tours and a whole lot more liz yes we do we do we have a lot of opportunities um we do have gardeners master gardeners that do tours throughout the garden and i am so sorry my phone is not cooperating okay well we'll go Let back to some more video real quick <laughs> yep uh a lot of a lot of stuff that goes on throughout the whole week there uh, it's only about a four-day event, but you still have people come in from all over the place. You've had a lot of celebrities also attend in past Rose Festivals. I saw the Nolan yeah. Ryan was there at one event. And, and this is, I guess this is the biggest event in East Texas each year, your Texas Rose Festival? It is. It is. It is probably, it is our um, best civic events, largest civic events that we put on and during the three and four days events uh, we have thousands of people come into tyler um enjoy smith county um it is it is very great for tourism it sure is and like we said people come it's a tradition and your queens are a big part of that tradition in fact you have the queen's tea that happens each year what exactly is that well, I can tell you the Queen's Tea takes place in the Rose Garden. So all of the girls, the Queen and her court, are in their um, magnificent costumes. And we get the opportunity for everybody. It's an open invitation. It's no charge. People come with their families, their children. They get to be up close and personal. They get the little autographs of the girls. So it is a precious, precious opportunity. And... Um, it's, it's just a great celebration of our city. Now, each year around January 1st, there's this place out in California called Pasadena. They try to put on something called a Rose Parade. I don't think well, they've got anything on Tyler, Texas, because as part of the Texas Rose Festival, you have the parade. What is that all we about? Do, we do have a parade. Now, I have to say that they probably win the award as far as their floats and their Oh, now, come on, Liz. But we do have an just amazing um, community turnout. We have all types of civic groups, schools, bands, um, volunteer organizations, nonprofits, um, our court members on their floats, classic cars. It's just, it is such a well-attended 
happy time, and our city is definitely going to be waiting for it this year. All right, again, this is in middle of October, and it's perfect time. There's not, there's, there shouldn't be snow and ice on the ground. It may not be a hundred. You probably have never had to deal with that, I hope. We've never had the snow and ice, and I don't want to speak of rain. It's only <laughs> rained three times in the 86 years so far, so we're moving forward. It ought to be perfect is what I'm trying to get at. It shouldn't be 100, right. 150 degrees like it can be in East Texas here, maybe even right now. I don't know what your weather That's forecast right. is right now, but, but it's going to get hot this summer. But this is something we got to look forward to in October. Now, Liz, one thing people need to know, this is not something that you can just show up to some of the events. You do have some of the events, actually, you have to have a ticket for. So how do that we how do we go forward in planning to come to Tyler and participate in the Texas Rose Festival from a ticketing standpoint? From a ticketing standpoint, beginning on September 1, the link will be at texasrosefestival.com. You will be able to go on, click the buy tickets. It will take you to the University of Texas at Tyler Cowan Center Performing Arts, and you'll be able to order tickets for your ladies' luncheon, men's luncheon, both coronations. We have a matinee presentation on that Friday, the 17th, and also at 7 p.m. is the evening coronation. So we look forward to having all of those events. And then um, if you choose to sit in the parade, in the um, sit in the stadium and watch the parade instead of um, street side, there's a ticket available for that as well. All right. Tyler, Texas, a natural beauty. And you'll see a lot of why it is a natural beauty on display at the Texas Rose Festival, the 87th Texas Rose Festival again in mid-October. Liz Ballard, thank you for coming on today and giving us a great preview of what to expect. And that's something we can all look forward to in October. And we thank you so much for coming on our spring swing tour of Tyler on today's Y'all Show. You're so very welcome. All we right. appreciate the call. All right, Liz, thank you very much. More of the Y'all Show will continue after this break. We've got more of our great guests from Tyler that will be on. You don't want to miss out on the fun. Sport Tyler, we'll let you know about that. And also we'll be visiting with the Visit Tyler office, the Tourism Bureau for Tyler, Texas. All that coming up right here on y'all.com.